In Mexico, the Day of the Dead is celebrated in November, which means that a lot of Mexican bakeries and families will be making pan de muertos. The celebrations include parades and festivals, as well as gatherings at cemeteries. Although traditions vary between towns and families, a form of pan de muerto is found at every altar. My family's from the north of Mexico. Yeah, and I come from a very, very small town where this celebration is a big, big part of the community. And during this time, we, we definitely go all out. We have a huge parade that goes together to the cemetery. And there's music, live music, food, drinks. Mm -hmm. And we actually spend the night uh, in the cemetery. We see it as, um, as the dead still being alive. The idea is that if you put the stuff uh, that they love, they'll smell it and they'll come to your house uh, faster. They'll be able to find their way home uh, no matter where you are. Pan de Muerto is a type of sweet roll generally only eaten during the Dia de Muerto celebrations. The bread is decorated by pieces of dough formed to look like bones, which symbolizes the dead. My grandfather, for example, even though you know he, he died in Mexico, we're here and my mom wants to see him, so she put coffee here and that's really what he loved. Um, and she prepared it just the way he would have liked it and he's going to find his way uh, back here with that. They're the, really the ones who started uh, the bakery business. Are these your dad's or your mom's? This is my father's uh, parents, yeah. And they're the ones who really started the bakery business in our, our hometown of Piaxla in Puebla. And they taught all of, all of their children how to make bread. Bueno, yo llegué en el 80 y 83 aquí. Entonces mi, mi cuñado, el hermano de mi esposo, ya tenía un, un pequeño... Llegamos y, y, y ya empezaba él a, a trabajar, a hacer el pan, y, pero no solamente lo hacíamos para que el, la gente, la gente lo, lo llevaba solamente para comerlo en la casa. Pero ya poco a poco se fue, fueron, fuimos haciendo más así, más surtidito el pan, más este, por ejemplo, las, las muertitas, las hojaldras, las monas, todo es tradicional. Todo lo que, lo que hacemos aquí ya es tradicional, pero del, del pueblo de más de mi, de mi allá detrás de, mi, de mis suegros. So soft. Yeah, it's really fluffy, yeah, which is really spongy. It's great, yeah. And should I try it with the hot chocolate? Yeah, so the or? sponginess helps when you dip it in there and it absorbs all the hot I'm chocolate. Try it first without the hot yeah, chocolate. That's a good idea. And then this is feel. Mm. What do you think? It's so nice. It's so spongy, and it's not so too sweet because many sweet breads are just so sugary. This one has exactly like you could combine it with whatever you want, even jamón y queso. Or right. Mm. I'm gonna try it with the hot chocolate now. The best way to eat the pan yes. de muerto. Mm. It immediately feels like it's like a Mexico taste. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it, yeah. but that's it. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like Mexico. It exactly. tastes like Mexico, yeah. yeah. That's definitely the piece. perfect pairing. Mm. Mm.